So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a camera lock-on and to start let's go into general arena underscore gi and you want to make a new variable and this variable is going to be a vector and click the eyeball so we can access it so compile that and go into your blueprint interface underscore menu bpi underscore menu now you want to add a new function and call it lock on so we got that out of the way now let's go into our boss so I'm gonna go into my blue boss in the viewport you notice I have a yellow cone so I added a component you can put a spear cube doesn't matter I put a cone upside down on his head then going down here I set it to hidden in game so you shouldn't see it by default next I made a function called send location and what send location does is it cast to game instance so get game instance cast to game instance and remember that variable boss location it's gonna set it and this boss location value is gonna be your get actor location so you plug that in there and now we're gonna call it on the event graph in this little mess so where you want to call it is where it says initialize boss so this is our initialize boss so after this do once you create the widget at the viewport you want to add a set timer you want to set it to looping to 0 0.05 for time you can experiment with this and send location is the function you want to loop but you only want to do it once because once the boss starts you can perform this function you can loop it so now we got that done too next is since in our in our uh, blueprint in interface menu we made a lock on function we need to call an event for that here's my event so you right click and type in event lock on here and you get this you put a flip flop and you get the cone that we made the yellow cone on his head you want to set it to hidden in game twice one for A and one for B A you don't check this and B you check this so we got this covered too now next thing we're gonna look at is our warrior blueprint so let's go to warrior warrior blueprint now this is where the magic is happening and the way it's gonna work is when you press tab you're gonna perform a lock on and when you lock on all the stuff we put here is gonna come into play and when you lock off all this stuff's gonna shut off so <laughs> I just flickered a bunch of tabs okay so here I got tab then I get actor of all class make sure this is set to character then lock on is what we made right here we're gonna message it because once we message it it's gonna call this event in the boss and it's gonna toggle the cone on and off so you right click uncheck context sensitive and type message lock and you get lock on message and that's what this is so your out actor goes into target and you continue with the rest of the input then you go into a gate the reason why I'm using a gate it's I don't need to use an event tick this is this will work just fine event ticks can be heavy so I figured I just use a, a gate now you're connecting this little chain of command into toggle so you, every time you tap it goes open close open close now here for enter you have a timeline so you right click and type timeline and you'll get this double click the timeline you don't need to make anything here but length I put it to point 2 I don't know if it changes anything but you set it to autoplay and loop and you connect the update into enter once you've passed that you wanna cast to game instance and I'll show you what this is for in a second now that we covered the top portion this is the top portion now we're going to cover the bottom portion. What the bottom portion here is doing is setting your control rotation to where the boss is. This is, th this is the switch that toggles it on and off and this is the little mechanism. Now the way the mechanism is working is you need to first get controller and it's going to say target is pawn. Then you need to drag out the blue wire 
and you write get control rotation <clears throat> you do that again and this time you type set control rotation and it should say target is controller so once you have this node and this node here if you notice both of these are the same I put two of them but in fact I only need one okay now once you have this get control rotation you want to break the rotation and you go down here to set control rotation you want to make this rotation so make rotation and you connect the pitch together and that roll together what this is is this is your controller that you're using in the game and you want to set its control rotation but you want to maintain the pitch and the roll you only want to manipulate the yaw for a camera lock on next we're gonna find out where the yaw is coming from so the way the yaw is working is first we get your follow camera which is right here you want to get its world location you want to find the look at rotation so this is your start and now your target is what we worked on earlier here you have your boss location variable and in your boss you have that function that keeps setting this variable and this variable the timer is being called at our initialize event and it's just blasting it it so it keeps on updating the boss's location so this your target comes all the way from up here when you cast to game instance you drag the wire out and you get boss location and that's where it is so you put that in the target now the next node I don't know how I managed to pull this off because I don't know what I was on but I just kept reading and reading and reading and suddenly I found this magical node called rinterp2 if you hover over it and look at the description it tells you exactly what it does it tries to reach target based on distance from current position given a nice smooth feeling when tracking a position so it pretty much animates the the thing for you the, the transition in movement so here for current what you want to set is your get control rotation that's your current that's wherever you are looking then you want to interpret interpolate it to the target and that's what this is your target uh, delta time you want to get world delta time which returns the frame delta time in seconds adjusts blah 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 and then interp speed I think the lower you set it the quicker the camera turns to your target so the the longer the bigger the number you can think of this as seconds I guess so it's not really six seconds but it's you'll see just experiment with it play around with it and you'll, you'll get it then for the return value you want to break the rotation and now we made it up here this is where our yaw comes from so this thing is basically just calculating the distance and and setting the yaw bit by bit and you wire that right into the new rotation so I hope your brain didn't fry by now you can always rewind and watch it tr try to understand if you have a question write it in the comment so this is what toggles the camera on and off I'm just gonna comment this gigantic thing and call it camera lock on oh I misspelled camera so this stuff this whole method what works why it works well is because if you have multiple levels every one of your boss all they need to do is contact the gaming instance the game in instance sorry and tell it hey I'm over here by setting the boss location and then your character needs to just go into that gaming instance and see where the boss is. So I'm just gonna do a little uh, playthrough and show you something. Explain the whole code in motion. So here I didn't initialize the boss so if I lock on I just lock on to myself it doesn't do anything. Now if I initialize the boss suddenly the boss ran that function that we made. So he's con constantly telling the game instance hey I'm over here I'm at this location here are my coordinates now when I press tab I'm gonna access those coordinates and make that whole mechanism play and there you go my camera turns and if you notice that yellow cone is on him so our blueprint interface did the trick it called the event 
and it made it work and now that cone is lit up if I press tab again it's gone and I can move my camera freely I can rotate now look I'm gonna press tab and there auto rotate on the camera and now it's stuck to him and while this is doing that remember our character every time you attack he faces the camera so if I started clicking I'm gonna face him so this pretty much covers the camera lock on and thanks for watching it's been one hell of a ride because this is probably well over the 17th video I think I have more than 17 videos about how to make this game and it, this pretty much covers a big portion of the hack and slash notion and I guess what's left is for me to make a mage class and an archer class and answer all your questions because I have a ton of those and then work on multiplayer so thank you for watching you made it this far and I'll see you guys in the next video.